final uh, press conference. Minnesota State uh, defeated Minnesota State 76-73 to advance to the, to the Elite Eight. Uh, we'll begin with a statement from uh, head coach Mike Lee and then open it up to questions. Uh, first of all, uh, you know, when I was walking over to uh, Mankato's bench and uh, shook Matt's hand and the rest of the team, you know, you, you can only feel feel bad for them, seriously. And I mean, they played a hell of a basketball game. And you know, the thing about it is that uh, Matt does a phenomenal job at Mankato. And I said this yesterday, the day before yesterday, is that every single year they're in the thick of things and tremendous players. And and we've been on that side of the coin, and it, it's hard. It, it really is hard because you you. You work a whole year in, in, in just to get to this this position, and uh, I, I just applaud them for. Uh, I mean, that was one heck of a basketball game, and obviously, you know, you're happy you won. But it was a heck of a basketball game from a spectator standpoint, and it certainly lived up to its uh, billing. And I'm just extremely proud, extremely proud of our uh, our team and all of our fans. And uh, you know, it, it's just a. It, it, it ranks right up there. You know, Clayton Betty came in and, and uh, that first year, and, and uh, I'll never forget him sitting in my office, and he said he was going to win me a national championship, so I'm holding it to him. We've got three more to go. <laughs> That's the end of my comment. <laughs> yeah, a couple of huge plays that uh, to get you to overtime. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, the uh, one that Xavier hit, the driving layup, foul in the green there. And the oh, yeah. You know, and, and you know, the last few games of the year, we've actually had uh, um, X has struggled from the free throw line, and uh, TC has struggled a little bit, and Clayton continues to struggle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, but <laughs> uh, but um, you know, that was you know, one of the things with X, and I, I really, you know, we need to do have him do that more often, but. He's a, he and Grant, both of them, and we've seen it this uh, weekend with with uh, Taylor, is, is taking that ball to the basket and being strong with it. And they're so good with both hands. And, you know, he was able to get that bucket, get the foul. And, I mean, that was just huge. It was just huge at that point in time. And, uh, you know, everybody stepped it up. I, I thought, I mean, what a shot by uh, Kellen, um, Kellen Taylor. Oh, man, what a great shot he hit at the top there, that three that we needed. So it, uh, you know, it was a great play by him and a great play by a lot of different people. You know, I, I know we had uh, quite a few in double figures, and you know that's that worried me a little bit because I everybody knows we're going into Clayton, everybody knows it, and and they try and stop it, and and uh, you know we've got counters for it, but we've got to have balanced scoring, and we we preach that and uh, get four guys in double figures. That's the way we're going to be able to. That's the way we're continuing on, and uh, that was a, I thought a, uh, probably the biggest key of the game. A bit over time too. Clock shot, shot clock's winding down. And there's 21 seconds left uh, in the game, and then Grant turns on his uh, turn around jumper and puts you out for good. Yep, that's oh. his bread and butter, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a good question for you. What do you always say? How'd it feel? Well, like well, I mean, it was it was it was drawn up as a screen. He was supposed to go under, and I was I was just gonna step back and shoot three, but. I looked at Kellen in the timeout when he was calling me, and I told him I was going to make it. And he could verify it. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, the clock is winding down, so I thought it was obviously just a lot of time left. Yeah. I knew we were good. Uh, you know, playing a game of golf with the X, it's easy to get a little, get a little more uh, challenging, obviously, and they, they kind of take away you know, a little bit of your defense intensity. Watch what you say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> what did say? Yeah, so that one. Yeah. I mean, it, it it can take you out of the game. You know, I stayed in the game. It was it was tough because I I mean, obviously I didn't agree with a couple of them, but um, you know I just stayed focused for the whole game. You know, came back and played a significant minutes with four fouls. So. You know, I think with that is. Uh, you know, with that is is the the you know wanting to bring him in, and I, I like that eight minute mark. And uh, um, but again, it, it's hard to keep somebody out that long, and, and it wears on them. And all of a sudden, you expect to go back into a game after sitting there for so long. And then I think you're you're more susceptible to making a foul. 
and, and I tell him, you know, it, it, you go out there, you got to play as hard. If you if you play, if you don't play as hard, knowing you would be able to follow out, would follow out on that next one, it's most likely you're going to get called for one because you're hesitant, and then all of a sudden you're reaching a little bit more instead of really playing good and solid defense. So I think it's, you know, I, I take my head off to him for for continuing to play intense. One thing you talked about yesterday, coach, is that not to let them get to the quick out and run. And yes. That transition game, you know, pretty happy with what you, what you controlled them. Absolutely. Course, yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we went into halftime and we said that was one of the biggest keys for us is not giving them the, the break. And, uh, you know, that Williams, I, I mean, those guys are, are good at it. And, you know, you saw them in those first two games and, and how they're able to get themselves, oh, good 10, 12. 14 points out of break, and, and we felt like, boy, if we could get those stops and make them play half court, uh, half court offense, I think that would uh, that definitely was going to help us out. And uh, you know, we mixed it up a little bit. We threw a little uh, zone at them, and uh, you know, it, it's a little with the zone and man with the principles. And uh, you know, I think that helped because um, we were we were giving up too many uh, 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 basically screen and rolls uh, to the basket. There, you can see those. They fired it inside, and they, they got quite a few baskets. And uh, um, so we had to we made a switch there for that point in time, and then and then we fixed it at halftime. And uh, you know I compliment coaches uh, Brown and Gold. They, they did a tremendous job uh, in that locker room. You know, we diagrammed those things, and, and they were they were right on what we had to do in that second half. Talk a little bit about your battle with Murray. I mean, obviously you had to go back and forth, you had to watch it, get some some inside baskets on him. Again, one of the better battles. Yeah, definitely. You know, he's a big, strong kid. He got to the line quite a bit tonight, but I thought I did a pretty good job on him. Probably let him get into the line, some calls and stuff. But um, I thought they doubled me and stuff, and Kellen and all of them. Everybody knocked threes down. Kellen hit that huge three in overtime. And, uh, you know, X, X did the same thing, banking in on all that time. <laughs> hey, tell them we actually did practice things. No. Toss back shooting for a short bank, not the three bank. <laughs> They uh, they did a nice job with our offensive glass coach. You know, what were they doing to get the to get that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mean that that's their that's their bread and butter. I mean, you look at every game, and uh, you know they out rebound their opponents, and, and we knew that. You know, and there were some times in the second half I was I was losing more, more of my hair. That really was because we were we were letting them slip in there, and um, you know the one time Clayton he should have he should have knocked you know got a body into 50 and uh, uh, he let him. Get in there, and uh, you know we make those mistakes, but it, 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 yes, had to continue to do it and do it good. And you know I, I um, I've been getting Clayton about just getting one board last game, and uh, but you know what that that's the thing is that we need our perimeter guys for us to win. We need our perimeter guys to rebound, and uh, you know that's where these guys come through. You know at six five, and you know, he jumps out of the gym, and X just knows where to go. <laughs> you see, if there's one thing that throughout the season you guys have been a little inconsistent is that focus at that hundred percent all in and obviously this tournament you were what what turn the switch that you went from uh, getting bounced in the quarters back from Mickey to win at three year three did? Uh well I think we got a lot of seniors on the team and you know everybody knows if you lose you're done. And I know for me being a junior, you know, I just want to go out there and I want to you know effort, attitude, do all the little things I mean to get these seniors to the next to the next game. And you know, in high school, my coach always preached to you know, senior, senior. This is the senior's last time, and you know, I, I, I love every one of these guys, and uh, I like going to war for them, and you know, it's just great that we can do this for them. Mr. Grant, obviously, last year you would like to been here, like been playing, been here to play ball. Worth it to get to this point. Taking in where you're at right now. I mean, it has its, it's going to sink in when I walk out of here, but uh, it's been a long, long road. I think last year we would have, I think, honestly, I think we'd be in the same position. Uh, you know, I, I still feel bad for what happened last year, but it's not to feel about it. But for me, I think uh, I just stayed. Stay focused, stay positive, and you know, I was going to come back. And I knew we were going to have a great year. And that's what it's turned out to be. One final question.
the game and so forth. But it, it, it seemed like you got tired all the night. Cook. <laughs> 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 I mean, Cook gave you 30 second breather. Too, but was, it, was it just more, were you out of gas? Or? Yeah, definitely. You know, banging your own body. You know, especially with Mariah and anybody that came in there, all that, I mean, that's what everybody tries to do is get me out of the block and stuff. And it gets tiring, but, uh, you know, you get a, not a break, but, you know, it's nice not to have a couple games back to back now coming up. So definitely ready for some rest. Where, where did you get the wherewithal to keep going before you quit? Where I mean, you just don't just quit during the game. But <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, you just, you know that, you know, it's your senior year and it's overtime and there's five minutes on the clock and you just got to go. I mean, there's no thinking about it, you know, no, you just block it out and, and uh, just keep going. So. All right, thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.